morning. Just wanted to show you this, where we're going. Just pulling back into Gran Canaria. For the last time. where it all began seven days ago. Okay, we're docked now in sunny Gran Canaria. Let's have a quick look and yeah, start getting ready to go home. Morning. Hello. Well, we're very sad, Gran Canaria. Hmm. We've got to get off the boat. Time to go home. Sorry, I've got to get off the ship. Yes. We don't want to get off the ship. But unfortunately, all like all good things, they come to an end. We have a next one coming up, which is going to be amazing. Indeed. That's going to America. Uh, we'll tell you about that. I've probably told you about that, but we'll tell you about yeah, that closer to the day. Twenty-five times already. Probably. I'm just a little bit excited. Um, but we'll tell you that close to the day, won't we? We will. Okay. So, obviously it's travel home day, one last look on the balcony from the ship, and then we're going to have a look, we're going to have a walk to the beach in... Gran Canaria, Las Palmas. Las Palmas. Um, it's nothing like the Mas Palomas dunes or anything, is it? But it's still a nice beach. It'll be nice to go and you walk. can you can holiday up the north, can't you? You can. Eh? Which is something we've never done, but it might be worth having a look. But we'll take the phone, see what we can record. Go on the balcony now, say bye to the old ship for a few months. Yeah. Then we're on another old ship. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we'll speak to you soon. All right then, speak to you in a bit. Bye. Bye. And again, one last look. And we're going over there to the beach. All right, bye cabin. Bye. I've had a lovely week. Yeah. Haven't we? Now it's time to go home. Lovely week. The room looks a bit trashed. But That's Carl's fault. What an amazing week. Fantastic weather. Smooth seas. And good company. Wow. That's I'm talking about Alan the car <laughs> But yeah, that's the one last look of the room. So we're signing out. Now. Yeah, we're, we're signing out now. So we'll speak to you later. Back to where it all started. Keyside of the Morella Laura. I think we're going to go past it now, aren't we? The size that whale's tail. That's amazing, isn't it? Well, it is if you like palms. If you don't, then it's really boring. Right? I seriously don't know what happened to all our film last year. Yeah. I think you can see where we'll, where where you got the wave. That's all the box, isn't it? Yeah. But I think last time, Ad, you couldn't even see these mountains. It was full on dark clouds, wasn't it? Yeah, because it, 
He's not all the crabbing nets and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that way. There's still more rocks over there, isn't there? Alright, time to say goodbye to the beach. Yeah, he looks healthy, doesn't he? Are you going to break it? Come here for a night. Take a picture of the dog. What is it then? What's this? Bye, Grand Canaria. Yeah. Like I said, you can't even see him coming to land over there. Oh, God, it's it's gonna see them tonight if it's sky on this. <laughs> Jen, we're still here. Look at that one up there, is that coming into land?
Hello. Um, just finishing the video off then, finishing the series off, which was our Canarian cruise for February stroke March 2023. Adam's just checking Leo out. Obviously you need to go to the toilet, so he's just making sure he goes to the toilet. Um, so just wanted to let you know about the fact that we had such a fantastic time this time round on the Morella Explorer. It was so much better than last time when we still had to use all our face masks and temperatures and we had to test. Obviously we didn't have to do that this time. So that was so much better than, than last time. Um, I would still say for me personally, just out of the ships I've been on, I prefer other ships. I still think for me, Morella was the Morella Explorer is still my least favourite ship. And when I say that, I don't mean it's a bad ship, it's a fantastic ship. Just out of the ones that I've been on so far. Because I like the discoveries, because I like the big tall atriums and stuff. Um, but it is still an amazing ship. So if you want to book that holiday and go on the Explorer around the Canaries, please do it. You must do it because it is absolutely fantastic. Um, what else can I say? Um, we read, read a few reports before we went about there's not enough staff or the food isn't as good as it was. Now I've got to say, um, I think Adam would agree, that the food was absolutely fantastic. I mean, the buffet is a buffet. I mean, you, don't, you can't really make a song and dance about a buffet, can you? Because it's a buffet. Um, but I think overall it was absolutely fine, there was no problem with the food quality, um, there was no problem with staff, people have been saying there's not enough staff, Not uh, we never had any problem with staff, um, there's always somebody to serve us and they always served us really efficiently and we never really had to wait, the only, the only cruise ships we've been on where we really had to wait a long time to be served was P&O and that was on the Iona, which funnily enough is our favourite ship and the P&O Ventura. So those are the only two ships we've really had to wait on to be served. I mean, I would say, again, this is only my opinion, so, you know, don't take this as gospel, this is just me. I, I would literally go as far as to say the service on Morella is a lot better than P&O um, in terms of staff and staff quantity. And that's not, I'm not moaning about P&O, Seriously not moaning about P&O, we're going on a P&O next year. We're going on the Azora next year around Greece. Um, but this is just what I feel at the moment. I feel that you get better service on Morella. But I also believe that the, the shows on Morella are a lot better as well. We prefer the evening shows. But again, it's all a personal taste. So I know somebody watching this could turn around and say, well, that's a load of rubbish. And it probably is. That is just my personal taste um, and Adam's personal taste to what we like. But so that's, we, we needn't worry about what was going on with the food and stuff because there was nothing going on. It was absolutely just as good as it's always been. So if you are going away and you do read these reviews, please don't worry because like I say, for, for our week, it was absolutely spot on. Um, and the Canaries, you can always you can always count on the Canaries in terms of the weather. But the sea was so calm this time. I think we had one, one night where it was a little bit bumpy, but overall, so, so, so calm. <coughs> it was crazy. Oh, somebody's just walked past the house. How dare they? This is Leo's house and he doesn't like it. Um, but anyway, that's enough babbling on about that. Honestly, I, I would say, um, if you are worried about booking it, just book it. Just go, just go and do it. You'll have a fantastic time. Um, a friend of mine is going on the Iona in a couple of weeks. I've had Norwegian Fjords for the first time. Karen and Aaron, um, I know she's a little bit nervous about going on a ship, but they're going to have an absolutely fantastic time. And also, I'm mentioning Karen and Aaron because they're actually going to be looking after Leo. So for the first time in 11 years, Leo won't be going to the kennels 
for our next holiday. He'll be going around to Karen's and Aaron's for a two week holiday. Um, because unfortunately they, they lost their dog, Kai. And I think Karen just wants dogs around, I think. <laughs> um, it's a bit so weird. It's a dog and there's, there's no dogs around. So yeah, so he's going there. He's going there for two weeks on our next cruise coming up, which is very soon. And hopefully you might already know that, but we're going to, we're going around America and a little bit of the Caribbean. So we're going to, I think we, we fly to Port Canaveral and we go to, I've got to try and remember this now. I think we go from Port Canaveral to Charleston, Charleston to New York, New York to Freeport, I think. Um, it's two days in New York, Freeport, then you go to Freeport and then I think you go back to Port Canaveral and then for the second week you go from Port Canaveral to, uh-huh, where do we go? I think we go to, well, I know we go to Dominican, we go to Bimini, we're going to Key West and Miami. Um, we were going to Grand, Grand Turks and Caicos. But no, so we're going to Bimini instead because apparently they couldn't get in the ship, but it was too busy. Um, so we're going to have a really full two weeks. It's all brand new to us. We've never done a two week. So, you know, fingers crossed that we like it because we don't know. I mean, it might be get me off the ship after a week. Do you know? <laughs> we don't know. We've never done it. So we'll, we'll let you know how we feel about how what a two week holiday is like on a ship, on a cruise ship. Um, but yeah, so that's coming up. So we can't, I don't think, I don't know whether there will be another video after this that will be in the middle. I'm not sure, but if not, that will be our next, um, series. Um, at the minute, I don't think I've got anything planned. I think I had a weekend off. I've got the coronation weekend off. Um, so I was going to take Leo down to the coast, but because it's coronation, and um, King's Coronation, the, 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 the price that they want is just absolutely ridiculous. So I think we're going to be staying at home. So in theory, the next set of vlogs that we do is going to be our next holiday. So if I don't see you before that, um, we'll see you very soon. I'd just like to say, if you have liked the video, if you would um, like and subscribe and press that notification button because it really helps us out. Um, and we will see you all very, very soon after a two-week cruise holiday to America. So you take care and we'll see you soon.